Hey everybody, sorry, no video this week, last week I should say by now. Um, it has been raining and miserable down here. So, I'm um, doing a little work day by day as the soil dries out and just, yeah. Now, some of you might, some of y'all might remember from my first video, this entire area was covered with like scrap wood, stuff like that, and I figured put it away. This is gonna be just cleared out and I know that there is a water line. I'm not sure if that's it or not. But when we empty our washer, the water just comes everywhere. I'm gonna see what I can do to fix that. But this is all gonna become part of the garden area. So there's that small update. All right. Um, so I'll probably shoot, try and shoot a little bit more video tomorrow and over the course of the next couple of days. So you have a great one and see you then. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, wanted to show you first little friend of spring just showed up. Look at him completely. Doesn't care if we're here or not. <laughs> I was uh, working on the garden here just a tiny bit and just happened to feel him brush against my hand. So he might be a little domesticated, he might not. Who knows? Um, but I'm sure there's not gonna he's not gonna be the last one I see. I mean, I've got a lot of area to cover, and I'm doing it with hand tools down on my knees half the time, so. I just thought it was a cool little thing to show you, you know. Spring is starting to finally get here, and there's some more living proof. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see some of the trees starting to get green. The Spanish moss is starting to look healthy again. And, of course, we've got Mr. Toad here. So, all right, guys, I'll record a little bit more tomorrow, and by, hopefully by the end of this week. I might actually have a decent amount of progress done. All right, talk to you soon. I just wanted to show everybody, um, when I talked about the root structures that I'm having to fight against, this is what I'm talking about. This is all my top layer, basically. And it's not even complete i mean you can see what i've got done and this is my sorry about the spinning so fast this is my fourth wheelbarrow full of just root structure that i've gotten out of here it is a constant constant battle that's one of the hardest things i'm finding that i'm dealing with is the root structures here in louisiana i have never dealt with anything like this before i a garden like this back in Pennsylvania would have taken me, I'm going to say, four hours to do this entire area. I, up there, it's just grass. It, I'm fighting ivy. I'm fighting all kinds of stuff that might have been planned here at one time. And you can see, I'm getting it out, but I'm, it's just a battle. So... That's one of the reasons it's taken so long, fighting the weather, stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to let it go for right there for right now and catch us up a little bit later. Okay, well, I finally got almost everything taken out. And what you're not seeing is there is chaos starting to grow. But you're not going to be able to see it. It's way too small yet. And if you take a look back there, you'll see I've got that finally cleared out. I took out eight barrels full of that weed structure, the root structure and whatnot. And my wife's lonely parsley plant. <laughs> we found it at Walmart, figured we might be able to save it. Uh, but... No, it was tough getting all this out, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Now, I, 
see it anything yet because where I screwed up over there was the fact that as soon as I took everything out, I automatically put in the kale seeds, decided to let it grow. Unfortunately, I must have missed some small roots and it's growing stuff in it now. So I've got to wait for everything to come up until that is done and I can pull stuff out. Now, I didn't get started on this yet. Like I said, this is going to be all turned at some point. But my buckets, this one I'm thinking about moving just because I don't think it's getting enough sun. And I don't see any bit of my jalapenos growing at all. Now, my tomatoes, I seem to be doing pretty good with. Those are starting to grow pretty good. I'm going to have to take and transplant those soon so they don't strangle each other out. My mint, I'm seeing a little bit of growth. Not too much, but it's at least encouraging. Let's take a quick walk down here. <coughs> Now this is where I have this is my daikon buried, if most if you remember. And you're gonna you can see some of the leaves are starting to change a little bit. That means it's everything's taking hold. It's growing. Now I'm gonna have to come out and weed this, but I have to be careful because I seeded some basil over there. So and some of it is starting to pop, not much. <coughs> I still have two daikon in here that, after I transplanted, I guess they just figured, oh, hey, let's grow. So, yeah, those are going to be transplanted soon because I've got uh, parsley in there and some more parsley over there. Now, my spring onions, you're starting to see a tiny bit of growth, but not exactly much. I'm going to take, pull some of that out, the weeds and stuff out and get the, all that taken care of. I think my two things I'm going to work on next week are probably going to be that area and probably start on that. It's just a heck of a mess, but it's got to be turned. That structure has got to come out. It has to be done. Um, no, guys. It's starting to come along. I mean, little by little, bit by bit. And eventually, this place will look really nice. And I'll be able to grow majority of our food. The other thing we're going to be trying to do is we're going to have the property line reevaluated. Because I am allowed to have chickens down here. And I'm thinking right over there would be a real nice spot for a chicken coop. Fresh eggs, fresh chicken. Not sure if I can keep goats down here. It'd be nice. Um, just because of the fresh milk, the meat, I can make cheese out of the milk. All kinds of stuff. I'll give you a little shot of Louisiana going down. It is absolutely gorgeous here. So. All right. That's enough for right now. I'll talk to you a little bit later. Peace. Okay, last thing for this week. Um, found a boat that was literally sitting abandoned in a forest. Well, not forest, I'm used to up north. But just hanging out on the property and amongst the trees and stuff like that. This thing will not float. So, after a little bit of thought, so that I can, you know, keep excess water out in case it does flood, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this thing with dirt and grow just some small crops over here not nothing major but 
maybe turn it into my herb area. I'm not sure yet. Um, so that's basically what that's all about. Um, using the natural stuff that you can find or stuff people leave behind and don't care about. Now, over here, you'll see that I've got a small trunch dug, dug out. And that's diverting water that is coming down through the washing machine. Because I've got a nice little area here, once again, where the wood was. Once I cleared the wood, scraped everything off, um, I have a few small things to pull out of the ground, but that's about it. Other than that, it is going to make a nice partial sun area, if not three-quarter sun. So... I have that going and it seems to be absorbing the water before it even gets down to this area so I'll even be able to use that um, which is good so by the way just a quick shout out to James Starkey just because he gave me the idea about the boat um, before I saw the boat thought about it his idea popped into my head so James, thank you for the brilliant idea. Um, so, all right, guys. God bless. If you're liking how things are progressing and want to keep up, please uh, hit like, follow, subscribe, uh, and just share this channel. You know, share if you won't really want to. You know. Um, you might get an idea from me. I might get an idea from you. So, all right, guys. God bless. Talk to you next week.